Some say you cannot add friction mid rappel with a device like a guide ATC or ATC. We think differently. So here we are, we're set up. Here's our anchor, guide ATC by Black Diamond, connected into a personal anchor extended. Then I'm attached to the main anchor before I rappel. Now let's say I'm a big fat guy and, or I have a huge heavy backpack. I might want to add friction to the situation because this little skinny rope, which is canyoneer and roped, can slide through your hands really quickly. And even with gloves on, you might have a problem where it burns your hands and then you take a huge fall. Today, I have a fireman backup, which is a guy at the bottom pulling on my rope. So I do not have a personal anchor, excuse me, a personal backup set up. If I want to add more friction, all I really have to do is clip a carabiner here. So now I just change the orientation in which my brake hand is on. This is my brake hand I never let go. And normally in this device I'd pull down. Here I'm pulling up, kind of like if you were repelling with a munter. So I lower down. If this is still making me nervous, I could add another redirect. And it's important that this redirect is smaller than this device so it doesn't slide over the top of it. And it's really frankly not necessary to be a locker. In this case, it's a locker. And now I have all this tons of friction. And I'm like, I can't even get down. But the reality is, if I need to let off some friction, I can just disconnect this top one, excuse me, this orientation. And the nice thing is I could just leave this carabiner because it'll just come down with me. Or I could take it off. But you get the idea, lots and lots of friction. I could also reattach my auto block here, but since I have so much friction, I feel quite comfortable with this. Ah, uh, Ogden and the summit. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done that, and we'll catch you next time.